daily driving a welded differential. Welding your differential is a cheap and popular way to ensure that your drift missile goes sideways with a punch of the throttle and full opposite lock. But away from the circuit, what is life really like daily driving a car with a welded diff? Thanks to this insightful car throttle reader's review, here is the answer. Before we get cracking, you'll be pleased to know that we're running a competition for this week only. We're giving away two GoPro Hero 4s completely at random, one to an existing subscriber and one to a new subscriber. All you have to do is to be subscribed, leave a comment below and share the video with your friends. We'll reveal the lucky two winners next week. Right, let's get back to the video. What is a welded differential? Some of you may be wondering what a welded differential is, so here's the short answer. With a normal differential, the wheel on the inside of the turn has to rotate less than the wheel on the outside. This is because the wheel on the outside has a further distance to go, meaning more revolutions than the inside wheel. When a differential is welded, the axles are almost strung together and both wheels are now spinning at the same speed through a corner. Since the outer wheel needs to rotate more than the inner wheel, the inner wheel is forced to spin the same amount as the outer wheel, which forces the inner wheel to skip across the ground. This causes a car with a welded differential to behave very differently to most cars on the road. Here's what you need to know. Don't be afraid to live with a welded diff. If you're a keen drifter on a budget, then driving with a welded differential on the street isn't as bad as the internet might have you believe. However, there are a few precautions you should take before starting your welded differential journey. These include adjusting your driving style to reduce stress on the car during normal cruising, as well as good maintenance. Inspect the drivetrain. Something you should do before even thinking about welding the differential of your car is to get under it and check out the quality and condition of your drivetrain. This means everything from the clutch all the way back to the axles and even sometimes the wheel bearings. Welding the differential will put a large amount of stress on these components and the last thing you want is your left axle crumbling to bits mid-corner. So get under there, make sure everything's secure and in good condition, and for God's sake, weld the differential properly or get someone who knows what they're doing. Some welds can break fairly easily and it's game over if your diff is full of metal fragments. Follow the racing line. The harsher the steering input whilst rounding the corner, the more stress and hop there is going to be. That's why it's important that you adopt the racing line where possible with a welded differential. This technique that can also be described as the straightest line through a corner means shallower turns because you're using more of the road. Of course, adopting the racing line on the street is difficult, but just remember that nice wide turns are better for cars with welded diffs than tighter ones. Car parks are your worst enemy. If you didn't already like navigating through the tight and crowded car parking lots of your local shopping center, boy is your day going to get a lot worse with a welded differential. While high speeds and shallow bends mean that you won't even notice the effects of the welded differential, in slow, tight corners you'll be in a whole world of pain, especially during tight parking maneuvers. It's here where the welded diff bites you in the ass with hops, skips and the sound of screaming drivetrain components. I should also mention that the effects of the welded diff will be doubled when reversing out of a car parking space. Just own it. Your car may be a rust bucket drift missile, but the combination of the noise from the wheel hop and your eBay stainless steel exhaust is sure to attract some attention from people. This might include people who point and laugh, others who cheer and give a thumbs up, and some who just stand there and look confused. No matter what reaction you get though, make sure you own it. If they're confused, simply explain. If they cheer, honk the horn. If they laugh, it's okay. Just remember that your car can do mad skids while the only skids they can do will be in their pants. Always remember to have fun. As cheesy as it may sound, it's pretty important. Through all the cringing wheel hop, the constant anxiety and the confused looks from non-car people, there is light at the end of the tunnel. The car drifts and it drifts like it never has before. And that's enough reason to block out the negatives, right? So even though the regular driving is going to suck at times, just remember to hoon your missile whenever you can. Thanks to CT user Performance and Luxury for the insightful look at life with a welded differential. Don't forget to hit subscribe, leave a comment and share the video to be in with a chance of winning one of two GoPro Hero 4s. Good luck.